Each week, we pick one specific Metro Atlanta neighborhood to call out critical changes over the last three years and let you know how, as a homeowner in that area, you have a an advantage or a disadvantage in that particular market. And this week, we have selected Townsend Creek, which is in Swanee and Gwinnett County. If you are headed north on Peachtree Industrial, you'll turn left on Swanee Dam Road. You'll go about two miles, and the neighborhood is on the right. The average sales price of a home in Townsend Creek in 2019 was $316,230. $316,230. There were 10 homes that sold. It took an average of 43 days from listing to contract. The low price was $264,000. The high price was $359,900. And homes sold for 98.2% of their list price means sellers discounted the price 1.8% to come to an agreement with a buyer. In 2020, it was a whopping 18 sales, eight more than in 2019. They took 23 days to close, which was 20 days short of how long it took to sell them in 2019. The average sales price, $337,000. So that's an increase of about $21,000 over that year. Prices ranged from a low of $280,000 up to a high of three hundred. dollars and 80,000 sales price to list price ratio, 99.4%. Sellers didn't have to discount 1.8%. They only had to discount 0.6%. 2020 over 2019. 2021, a different story altogether. Back to closer to 10 sales. There were nine sales uh, in that size neighborhood with almost 300 homes. We would expect there would be closer to 20 sales per year in normal housing turn, if you will. So normally between 5 and 7 or 8% of the homes in a neighborhood sell on an annual basis. In 2021, the nine homes that sold took 10 days, a whopping 10 days, a week, a less than a week and a half. And the average sales price was 399808 So if you look at that, that is a $60,000 increase, $60,000 increase, almost a 20% increase over the prior year. The low average sales price, $340,750. The high sales price, $449,000, and the sales price to list price ratio, 101.8%, which means the average home seller sold their home for 1.8% more than they listed it for. There are currently three homes available for sale at an average list price of $533,000. The lowest asking price is $499,000. Wow, talk about somebody trying to set a new standard for that neighborhood. And the highest asking price is $585,000. There have been 10 sales in the last 365 days, which means today there are 3.6 months' worth of inventory. Now, remember, as we just talked about in the prior segment, less than four months' worth of inventory, seller's market. So this is a seller's market, but it's at the high end of a seller's market, almost to a balanced market. If there was a fourth home on the market, it could be that the negotiating stance of sellers and buyers in the neighborhood gets more balanced and less oriented toward sellers. So 3.6 months worth of inventory, seller's market, but not a screaming seller's market. There are a total of 270 homes-ish in the neighborhood, which means that homes went from an average sales price of 158000 in 2011 to 400000 in 221, which means homeowner equity in that particular neighborhood increased to the tune of $65 million. Yes, you heard me say that right. Those 270-ish homeowners have additional equity in their homes of $65 million. The elementary school is Riverside, and the middle and high school are North Gwinnett Middle School and High School. North Gwinnett High School gets a school score of six, uh, excuse me, of 100.